everyone. Happy New Year. I hope you guys had an amazing holiday. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for 2015. I got my ponytail. Um, I learned some stuff from 2014, so bring it. So, going into the new year, I think it's important that we all understand how to stop attracting what we don't want into our lives and start attracting what we do. And I'm actually going to talk about a personal experience. What's new? I always talk about a personal experience. So story time. About a month ago, I did a video about energy vampires and I talked about what an energy vampire is and why I attracted it. So I understood everything pretty consciously, right? But as soon as I got rid of that person from my life, another energy vampire came in and I was under the illusion that this wasn't one and that I had like worked past this. And so, as you could imagine, I was very confused. And it felt pretty horrible because I was like, I just did this to myself and it hurt me and now I'm doing it, get, doing it again why am I hurting myself? I feel like I'm betraying myself. I don't, I'm, I'm at this point in my life where I want to love myself and, and make myself happy, not hurt myself. It was some sort of weird self mutilation that I was doing. And also I want to bring this up because I've increasingly become more and more sensitive to energy and you know, to situations. And my psyche was going, psyche intuition was going crazy. Like it was, it was literally saying to me, get out of this situation, get away from this person, get away from this person, get away from this person. And this person was not dangerous, but dangerous to my psyche, yes. And um, it was literally going off like an alarm and I ignored it once and then it came back as an even louder alarm. And one way to recognize this when your intuition's going crazy or your psyche's going crazy, I, it's like intense emotion and you know that you need to get out of the situation. It's like almost like you can't ignore it anymore. And whatever that person is mirroring in you, it you really start to feel it. So if they're mirroring a, a sense of like, self-worth issues that you have like for me it was like self-worth issues so that really came up in my face and I really started to feel like I wasn't worth anything because that's what they were mirroring and then my psyche was going crazy like get the hell out of this situation now for real how do I make sure I never attract this kind of shit again ain't nobody got time for this what I realized is that by saying I don't want this anymore, I don't want this type of person in my life anymore is not enough. I wish it were. Um, actually, I was talking to somebody and they just said, well, once you know you don't want something that, you know, you're done. You just know you don't want it. And I'm like, no, I wish it was that easy, but it's not that easy. When certain people come into our lives or certain situations happen to us that cause us to feel a negative emotion our first instinct is to reject it and run away and try to forget about it, right? Because we are very, very scared of our emotions. And what we don't realize is that our emotions are an amazing tool to help us realize things that we need to heal within ourselves. They are like, our emotions are the best thing that God ever gave us because it's how we um, figure out how to love ourselves better and to become more peaceful and whole. So if you keep running away from your emotions, then you're never going to feel more peaceful and happy. Instead of looking at that person or that situation as a great enemy or something that we're going to dwell on about and feel so bad about, actually they're an incredible messenger because without them, we would have never been able to get to that other level of peace and happiness inside of ourselves. So we have to actually utilize these messengers to grow. Instead of running away from this because whatever you resist persists and whatever you fight strengthens, allowing yourself to feel the feelings you feel. If you're feeling jealous, allow yourself to feel that jealousy. Just sit with it. If you feel sad, if you 
if you feel unworthy, if you feel unlovable, just sit with that. Let your allow yourself to feel the feelings that you feel because once you allow yourself to feel those feelings, you take away their power. And then you can start to observe what's behind this. Is this really true? Am I really unworthy? Am I really unlovable? Am I really these things? And then you start to see that you're not. And actually what's making you feel those things is this little child inside of you. It's you as a little kid that felt rejected or something happened to them and, and you're crying for help. So one, one tool that's kind of helped me is while I'm meditating, I'll remember a certain time in my life where I felt unworthy or unlovable. And I will go back to that time and I will tell myself, you are lovable, you are worthy, and give myself like a big hug. And so it's learning to soothe yourself and to see past, to see past all that crap that's not really real. But yet, when we're just running away from our emotions, we're believing it's real, and we're just continuing the cycle of self-mutilation. <laughs> Another thing to remember is that whatever you focus on grows. So if I'm here thinking about how awful that energy vampire experience was and how I don't want to attract one and then keep thinking about what that person did and what I did and what this and what happened and the dynamics, blah, 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 I'm going to attract more of that in my life. Instead of focusing on that, start focusing on what I do want, what makes me happy. I actually started to do this and I have been attracting people into my life that make me so happy. Just the other day, I had a, we called it a fuck it day, and went ice skating and did all these like fun crazy things, and I was laughing the entire day. I cannot remember the last time I laughed an entire day. It was just so much fun because I have allowed myself to feel the feelings that I feel. I feel the sad ones, but then I can also allow myself to feel the happy ones and just to laugh and be carefree all day. So for 2015, I'm gonna let myself feel the feelings that I feel. And I'm going, instead of concentrating on the upsetting situations that happened in my past or different things I could obsess about, I'm gonna concentrate on what makes me feel good. And I'm gonna have more fuck it days. I hope this video was helpful and if you guys have any you know suggestions on how to not attract things you don't want um, please leave your comments let me know what you think about this video and also if what I'm saying resonates with you and you're interested in any life coaching sessions with me uh, my email is below and I have clients overseas and in different states because um, we do it over Skype so you know if you're interested and far away that's totally fine Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next week. Mwah.